So a few years ago, TC, or managing editor, built a gaming desktop, but it's kind of out of date and it's definitely not gonna hold up for Battlefield 5. So let's build a new one. You can build a gaming desktop for around $1,000, but I wanna go all out, so I spent around 2,000. A PC like this is gonna be able to play most games at ultra settings, so what do you need to build a desktop? Well, of course, first you need a table. Preferably not metal. If it's gonna be metal, have an anti-static working surface layered on top of it, a thermal paste applicator, an Allen wrench, some tweezers to tidy up the wires, a Swiss Army knife, which hopefully has a protect screwdriver in it, and last but not least, an anti-static bracelet, which is to protect you and the parts. These are the parts you're gonna need, but more importantly, before we get there, you need to understand what these parts are doing and how they interact with another. To better understand the parts that make up a desktop, let's talk about them individually. The processor is like the computer's brain, a basic compilation that everything the computer does. A lot of work is like the foundation, serving as a main structure for all the parts to be added to. It also allows the other parts to communicate with one another, which also makes it kind of like a nervous system. Graphics cards are responsible for rendering and processing visuals. It's really comes Our PC power supply is of course challenging electricity, and that it adjusts and provides a very hard running. Last but not least, RAM or RAM memory, and your hard drive are examples of short-term and long-term memory, respectively. If you want to better understand what kind of computer you build, first figure out what you want to use it for. If you want to care more about a graphics card than, say, a video editor, might want extra RAM to assist in your large files. If you're building a budget builder for your streaming, say, under $1,000, you want to focus on parts, like a Core 5 or Core 3 processor, that require less energy, but less powerful, but then you can scale up the cost of several other parts. And if you need help choosing the right parts for your build, there's sites like PC Park Data Guide that helps you pre-select which parts fit together, which sort of parts you might have, and where to find deals on new parts. We have a lot of boxes and a lot of PC parts, so specimen box them, I select parts that you really need, place items in the case, and make sure they all fit, and then start working. And now we're really going to start building, but I don't know what we're doing. So I'm not going to sell them boards that really help you if you really care for them. And certain contents are also supposed to be too hard to wait for the board. I chose HQC for the